place, an incredible facility called Ledoux, which is Michelin's private test facility, where any tyre, particularly performance tyres, any car tyres have been developed here, and they've got wet handling circuits and drip pans, this massive infrastructure that goes literally for miles. This is actually old Michelin factories, right? And these, this thing right here that looks like a massive ski jump, right? So that there, and the ones if you point all the way over there that look like these big curved buildings um they are historical sort of rolling resistance and friction test ramps that cars would drive up like this and then they would let them drop they don't do that now but they've left it as part of the history of the town the 911 we're in is clad in michelin livery and driving it through here i don't know it's like it's like justin bieber coming back to his hometown <laughs> Everyone's loving it. It's hard to fathom this. Michelin spend 600 million euros a year on R&D. Just on development of like new compounds and tires and all sorts of things. 600 million a year, not a decade. Every year they spend 600 million just on R&D. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Their test miles, they've got so much R&D going on and so many test vehicles out in the world that they drive the equivalent mileage every day every day of driving around the world so yeah next time you pay a little bit more for a tire <laughs> there's a reason why if i was a, a an sas insurgent this would be this would be my profile picture here and my disguise would be jean paul Bierry, french special services Oh, look at the scale of the place. It's massive. Look at this. I mean, it looks like we're on a country road, but this is an entirely private, dare I say secret, development center. Like there are quite carefully placed hedges and fences so that you can't do what we're do doing, <laughs> filming inside here. So I must express uh, our gratitude to be able to take you behind the scenes here uh, because Manufacturers that come here to develop their cars in conjunction with Michelin pay a lot of money for the secrecy of being, a, being able to access this place. So it's super cool. This is basically the world's most private track day. <laughs> uh, here, a really small patch for the, so, to optimize the weight handling. Oh, okay. Is it just on the inside shoulder? Yeah, due to the camber. Oh, of course. And then yeah. you have the, the main part. So smart, it's actually yeah. bonkers the amount of attention to detail in this thing. You're not going as quick in the yeah. wet, so yeah. you're not leaning on the camera as much. Uh, wow. So you go up a tyre size and the fundamental construction of the tyre is different. It changes. That's mad. That's absolutely That's bonkers. Tires, man. That is nuts. The black art, as they call it. <laughs> the yeah. black art. So also a special day because um, not only are we at a secret test facility, but we're also shooting a, an official Porsche advert while we're here. A true story. So it's somewhat, for me, this is like, dude, this is a childhood dream come true. I mean, who'd have thought in one day I'd feature in a Porsche ad? It's unbelievable. <laughs> Into the mode for making great benefits for going sideways, sports plus mode. Then we're gonna have to come down here um, we need to put it into manual because if it's in automatic, it will shift up as soon as it hits the rev limiter. It will just shift up gear. Um, and then this button here, this is the all important button. We have to hold that down. And then on the dash here, there it goes. Stability management switched off. So now that is everything off and you're on your own. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> this is basically for any petrol head, for any driver. 
this has got to be, well, it's the ultimate playground, isn't it? I mean, there is sprinkler, like injectors, that are just underneath the surface of the tarmac, which feed water up through the tarmac, which is sort of the, the perfect situation, really, because it's not spraying everywhere, it's just lying perfectly on the surface. So as a result, you can have a bit of a fun, Good. So it's set up to simulate different scenarios. If you go too fast down here, the car actually begins to aquaplane remarkably on a fresh set of rubber. You're well above 150 miles an hour, actually, before the thing starts to go. And that's incredible. This is like first gear. <laughs> oh wow, there's nothing as fun as a rear wheel drive car losing traction. It's just the best feeling ever. However, what is surprising me, I never thought I'd say this, I mean the surface is soaking wet, it's actually difficult to make this thing break traction, or should I say a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. The amount of grip you've got, even in conditions, I mean, it's fully standing water. It's crazy, actually. You have to give it, like, the 911 has to come into all of its torque band before the tyres break traction. And that is, that's just daft, isn't it? That was a hell of a session. That was amazing. When you start to link corners together, <laughs> that's when it really starts to gel. Brilliant. Best fun you can have in a car. Just, just amazing. Genuinely, not just saying this because of where we are, it is remarkable just how much throttle you have to give it for the tires to break traction, even on a wet surface. It's like, you would think with all of that mass coming out of a corner, you just sort of, you know, feather it on the wet and it would go, but you have to give it full boot and then it's only when this comes into its sort of like thick end of its torque band that then it breaks traction. Um, really amazing, actually. Really, really nuts. And down that back straight, where it's just standing water, it's like half an inch of standing water, um, you're way over the speed, like crazy over the speed limit for what you would be on a road before it even begins to have a, a hint of aquaplaning. Yeah. So when we say this tire, three years, literally N-rated Porsche 992 tire. Yes. Just that one tire. Yeah. Wow, wow. So even though it's a Pilot Sport 4S, it is literally for just the geometry, weight, driving characteristics of a Porsche 992. Exactly. When you have the N marking, uh -huh. it's only for this car. And NA0, it's only for the 992. Okay, so A0 is 992. 992. 911, 992, yeah. Wow. And so three uh, years for the one exactly. model, that's incredible. It's uh, to really uh, have the best combination between front and rear. Uh -huh. And uh, the, the, the design into the front tire and the rear tire is really different uh, in order to, to have the, the best combination for, the, for this car. This specific car with a lot of weight on, on the rear. What is it that makes it you know, specific to a 911, or should I say an, a 992? Uh, this one, the rear tire have to be very stable uh -huh. in order to, to be very safe uh, in all cases. And this one is reinforced into the, the sidewall, the front, the, the summit, sorry. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, all the compound is only specific for the 992. Okay. So uh, I suppose a 911 has, an, has a, a very unique weight distribution because the engine's so far back. Yes, right? that's why the rear have to be very strong and very safe. Sure. So that's why uh, it's really reinforced uh, against uh, the other uh, tire design for the other cars. Sure. So we have a uh, different compound over the tread pattern. Yeah. So we have uh, this one, a dry oriented compound, uh, mainly made for the track, endurance track, right. lap time grip. Okay. And this compound is a overall uh, compound uh, made uh, to have a lot of rigidity, uh, wear, wear uh, best wear condition, and also a uh, lot of grip. Wow. 
So it's almost split into different yeah, the shoulder. reasons. So it's like a track, yeah. <laughs> driving, wet, etc. Uh, we're now heading to the Drift Bowl, um, which is similar to the wet handling circuit, only it's just a full circle. So we've just transitioned off wet handling, which in itself, my cheeks are still aching <laughs> from how much it makes you smile. And now we're gonna hand over to basically an area of the test facility, which I probably should have gone on first because it'll help it in advance of, you know, handling the car on the limit of traction and um, it being on the lock stops for as long as possible. So let's go and see anyway, but basically uh, this being a really sort of secret squirrel exclusive test facility, we've got the keys and we're just bouncing around to all these different tracks, having the time of our life. It's amazing. Look how much water that there is. It's like the Bellagio fountains over there. It's, uh, it's endless. Look at it. So I'm guessing they have a different way of applying water to the skid bowl than they do the, ha the wet handling circuit. Because the wet handling circuit kind of comes up through the surface, whereas on this, they're just literally spraying it onto it. <laughs> you know, now we're up close to it, the power of these things. What you can't tell, the one in the middle, that's like serious, seriously covering the whole circumference of this bowl with one spray. Look at it, it's massive. You wouldn't want to stand in front of that. I think it'd knock you straight on your face. The reason we're at this stage is uh, for the Porsche advert. Porsche have asked us if we can get a 360 degree drift around this bowl. And at the time I was like, yeah, sure, sounds great. Now I'm here, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. <laughs> they really put me on the spot here. Oh, come on, come on, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll back around, we'll back around, we'll back around. Yeah, that was absolutely hilarious fun. But I need to spend a lot more time on it. <laughs> and because it's a basically a secret test facility, I don't think I'll be able to. <laughs> kind of reminds me of ice driving, actually. It, it, it's like ice driving in the summer. And then up here, there's a slightly more polished part. So as you're maintaining like very similar throttle, and then all of a sudden it'll hit this patch of ice, <laughs> as it were, and it'll just swap ends. Love to spend like a full, a full, week here you know because i just like for car control it's unreal i actually think there's there's like most people who get into a car never experience that feeling until it goes wrong and then if you don't know what you're doing when it goes wrong your chances are you're going to end up in a in a ditch somewhere i think it would be a really valuable thing to offer you know skid pan training driver training or even make it part of your driving test like just just basic car control of when it breaks traction because when it does in the winter you know things go wrong it's yeah. it might just save you so um not only is it amazing fun but as a sort of you know baseline skill to have just feeling the difference between understeer oversteer opposite lock giving yourself a chance i think it would be very valuable for everyone to just have a good old family day out on the skid pan <laughs> All right, that was it. Incredible day here down at Ladue. Honestly, massive thank you to the whole team at Michelin. You can't just drive in here. So we've been able to take you literally behind the scenes of one of the most awesome development uh, like platforms really in the world. And we spent most of it going sideways on a tire specifically developed for a 992 Porsche. So any 992 owners out there, I can honestly say, and I'm genuinely not just saying this, I'm still blown away about how much throttle I had to give that thing in order for it to break traction in the wet. Grip is outstanding, very controllable on the Limit 2, and I've spent all day doing that. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. So see you next time. Ciao.